But I was nervous because when I hit 30, I was still single. And it's, that's a different story when you hit your 30s, right? Because when you're in your 20s, you're still young enough to find somebody else in their 20s and you can break each other's spirits. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you fuse together as one and go off to make horrific life decisions the way God intended. But when, <laughs> when you're in your 30s, you're kind of set in your routine. You know what I mean? Like, I just thought it was gonna be very difficult for me to find a woman who's cool with her man napping at 5 p.m. You know what I mean? Like, she comes home after work and she's like, oh, Jay, you're gonna have a little lazy downsy? Are you? Yeah? Yeah? Little, little napsy wapsy? Yeah? Okay, tell you what, you go sleep and I'll clean the apartment. Yeah. And I'll make a nice dinner for when you wake up. Sure, and maybe if I have some time left over, I'll go visit my family in Narnia, because I don't fucking exist. There's no way I can. Another super frustrating thing was when I first moved to LA, I was uh, single and broke and I had a shitty car and you can't date in Los Angeles with a shitty car, especially when your check engine light's on. You know what I mean? Like you can't, you can't pick up a date in a car with a fucking check engine light flashing. You know what I mean? Like welcome to the date, we're gonna get stranded. <laughs> Hope you're wearing comfortable shoes. We'll take the back roads, it'll be romantic, or a Stephen King novel. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'll pick up the check, you pick up the tow truck. That's not even, that's not even going Dutch, that's Romanian, I think. But, um... <laughs> so it's awful, but I, uh, the one thing I miss about being uh, single was I was getting awesome relationship advice from my grandmother. Uh, oh, seriously, my grandmother's like 87 years old, and she's reached that age where, age where she just says shit. You know what I mean? Like, like growing up, she was like super prim and proper and conservative. And then she hit 85, you walk in and she's like, you look like a fucking dwarf. You're like, whoa, Annie, what? what happened to church and stuff? Uh, and my whole family, they get like really embarrassed by it too. You know what I mean? Like, they're just, you know, like, oh God, here she goes again. I'm like, you know what? Fuck you guys, all right? She's 87, all right? She's paid her dues, okay? Like, she was in all five world wars. I don't read a lot, but like, you know what I mean? Like, she was there, whatever happened back then. And... Like, I just think once you hit 85, the laws no longer apply to you. You know what I mean? Run amok. Do whatever you physically can do, is what I say. Like, I hit 85, trust me. I'm gonna go piss in the snow and start whipping frozen urine balls at people. I'm going nuts when I hit 85. I'll just grab boobs in the street. I'll wear a fucking cape, call myself old man. It's not a good name. What's his, what's his superpower? He can fall asleep standing up. I've never seen it. So anyway, she was giving me relationship advice. This is all true. So we had this big family get together, you know, this big dinner last Christmas. And so we're all sitting around and one of my uncles is like, so Jay, you're 32 and still single. Cause he's awesome. I love that guy. I'm like, that's what I want to talk about. So I'm like, uh, I'm like, yeah, but you know, I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm waiting for the right girl. You know, I'm kind of picky. And then my grandmother pipes in cause she's got my back. She's on Team J, right? And she goes, yeah, Jay, yeah. And you want to make sure you don't get with anybody who's been used. Okay. And my whole family's just like, mashed potatoes. These, <laughs> these potatoes are mashed. <laughs> and I'm like, well, whatever. This is the best shit that's ever been said at a family gathering. I'm gonna probe deeper. So I say, uh, that's very interesting, Nanny, the inappropriate comment you just made at dinner. Um, and how would you find that out? That seems like an awkward first date type question. You know, like this lasagna is scrumptious. Have you been used? That doesn't really flow. So she says, and I quote, no, you don't ask her. Just make sure you check her seal first. <laughs> check her seal. Yeah, because apparently to my grandmother, the female vagina is a lot like a cup of Yoplait. Yeah. Yeah. When you get down there and crack it open, it should make a popping sound. That means it's fresh and hasn't been tampered with. I don't think that's what that means. I don't, I Googled that. That's not what came up. Uh, I'm like, I know what she wants. You know what I mean? Like she wants me to be with a virgin because that's what older people, they're like, get a virgin, you know? Uh, but honestly, these days it would be easier to find a flaming bag of shit with a diamond in the middle than a fucking, <laughs> no, seriously. I would rather look for Waldo for 17 months than have to find a virgin. So I know that's what she wants, but that's not even really what I want, you know? Cause like, to me, the vagina is less like a cup of Yoplait and more like a little soldier. 
know what I mean? Like, you don't want a soldier that's never been to battle. Because then when the shit goes down, it's just gonna cry and run away. You don't want that. No. No, you want a soldier that's been through a few minor skirmishes. They know what's going on. You know, I don't want a fucking Vietnam vet. That's not what I'm saying. I, that's no. I don't want to get down there and be like, your vagina has shrapnel in it. What the fuck happened to you in your life? How'd the date go, man? I don't know. Her vagina kept twitching and calling me Charlie. What, what was that? Um, yeah, eh, it's crazy. But, uh, so my grandmother's awesome. And I, it's, it's so funny, though, because, like, she's technologically inept, and that's passed on. I can't, technology, forget about it. Like, I have a GPS, but I can't fucking follow it. Does anybody, it, you feel so retired. It tells you step by step. <laughs> Where to go? And I'm like, I'm fucking lost. How am I fucking lost? <laughs> and like, I hate when you, I hate when you make a wrong turn because it does that whole recalculating. Like, it makes you look like a fucking dickhead, right? Like, it almost sighs. It's almost like. <sighs> and you're like, I'm sorry. I'm not a machine. I'm basically a glorified hairless monkey that can use a fork. Fuck you. Like. I just, but here's the thing, I, I feel like we all need to be told what to do these days. Like, we have this need to be told, you know what I mean? Like, so I just feel like eventually with technology, especially for guys, we're just gonna have like this little contraption and a bud in our ear that tells us what to fucking do in every facet of society. Like, especially with our girlfriends, like what to say so we don't fuck up our lives forever, you know what I mean? <laughs> right? Like, we're gonna like walk home and be like, hey, honey, I'm home. And it's like, compliment her on her appearance. Oh shit, yeah, that's good. Hey, you look really good, honey. Ask her about her day. Oh, yeah. Hey, how was your day? Pretend to be listening. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh, she said that? What a bitch. Compliment her on her appearance. I just fucking compliment. Hey, you fit in those pants again. Recalculating. What did I say? Well, I don't, what did I say? Oh. Oh. Ridiculous. So. So yeah, my girlfriend, uh, she has a dog, which means I have a dog. That's how that works. And uh, I, I, you know, whatever. I like having a dog. It's, it's awesome. But I just, like, I, I wish I would have had the choice. You know what I mean? Like dog or cat. Like, I don't even know which one I would rather, to be honest. Like, I like cats because they're so independent, right? Like, you can leave a cat home alone for months, right? And then you walk in, he's doing the dishes. There's a roast in the oven. Like, this is an addition to the house. Like, they got their shit down, right? But, like, dogs are just so fucking needy. You know what I mean? Like, you leave a dog alone, and you come home, and they're like, Oh, my God, where the fuck have you been? I lost my mind. I shit all over everything. I ate all the toilet paper. You're like, dude, I reached out to get the mail. What is wrong with you? I'm really stupid. You know? The cat's just like, dude, fucking chill out. So I don't know if I could do that, but I, uh, I go hiking a lot, and... The place I go hiking is cool because, you know, you can, you know, you can walk your dog. And, but there's also, like, this horse trail, right? And so you can rent a horse and, and go, and there's all these little kids on these horses, right? And uh, it's hilarious because there's signs everywhere that you have to pick up your dog shit. Like, God help you if you don't pick up your dog shit. But there's no signs for horse shit. <laughs> have you ever seen horse shit? That is the bigger fucking problem, okay? Like, that, that's like all the animals of the forest got together in the night and had a big shit fiesta and then just dispersed, like giggling, like. And what annoys me the most about it is that horses know this. Horses know there's no rules or regulations that apply to their shit, because they are the cockiest shitters in the animal kingdom. Have you ever seen a horse take a shit? They don't squat, they don't even stop. They just walk and shit. They're just like, just leave it, leave it where it lays. I'm a horse, people bet on my speed, yeah. Tell you what, why don't you pick up that shit, put it on your mantle, tell your friends you were near a horse, I'm fantastic. <laughs> the only thing they do is they, they give their tail a little flick. Have you ever seen like, I don't want that shit on my tail, but feel free to step in it, <laughs> you hairless fucking monkey. <laughs> like if I had any power whatsoever, I would make horses squat like dogs. I, I would just to bring them down a notch, right? Because have you ever seen a dog take a shit? They are so ashamed of what they're doing. They don't even know what, have you ever, they're like, I know, right? This is fucking awful. I don't even want to be here. 
Look, there's kids playing ball in the park. I can't even look him in the eye. Oh my God. Oh God. Is my ass quivering? I'm not even cold. I'm just so ashamed of what's happening here. Anyway, my name is Jay Malone. You guys have been fantastic.